Hey up YouTube, how you doing? I'm joking, that was so cringe, I don't know why I did that. My name's Thomas Gelder. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you want well, to Well, something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. Well, that was pretty great. You lot may know me as Niles Cameraman or Famous Cameraman, which I'm not famous, I'm a normal human being. So today is my YouTube debut. Yes. Baby. Today I'm going to talk about what I do, who I am as a person and how I've got to where I'm at and kind of give you guys a guidance that are in the same field, how to get your work seen. So as you know, I don't just film with, well, some of you may know, some of you may not know, but I run a media company called Airs Films. Now Airs Films started out as a little bit of fun. Sorry, this chair's awful. I really do apologise. But yeah, Airs Films started out as a YouTube channel, which was a music platform for a lot of up north artists, which it still is. I'm still currently working on it, with just a bigger development on it. I'm just trying to branch it out and make it a bigger platform now. I feel like we haven't progressed as much as I wanted it to because I kind of lost that feel of making that YouTube channel what I wanted to be and started focusing more on business side of things within media. Any of you that are watching this, if you are student, graduated, anything, just give me an email, I'll put my email here. I'm happy to look at your work and if I really like it, I like who you are as a human. Because it's not just always about your work, it's about who you are and how you carry yourself. That's a very big key in life. If, if I feel like I've got some sort of connection straight away just from an email, I will respond and meet up with you and do what we need to do really. Now, how to get your work seen. And I'm just basing this off my own preference. A few other things I've heard here and there, but mainly off my preference and what I've done to get where I am right now. And just bear in mind, like, I'm nowhere near where I want to be. I want to be a filmmaker, a documentary maker. This is what this YouTube basically gonna be about. It's gonna be tutorials, it's gonna be documentaries, it's gonna be short films, it's gonna be a wide range of things. Creating this YouTube is not about being the next YouTube star. It's about showing my creativity, showing a bit of me showing a bit of my personality and who I am. Right, back to the topic, how to get your work seen. There's many different ways of doing this. It depends where you want to go within the media industry. Everyone, and I mean everyone in the media industry, always says start as a runner. Run, Thomas! That's good, it's a great way to get connections, it's a great way to network. Um, and I advise to do that if you want to do that. If you want to build your connection, build your network, do that. But for me, it wasn't me. I didn't want to be a runner. I wanted to be out there in the field doing it myself. Therefore, I took things into my my own hands what I was learning theory based I wasn't no one was putting it into practical when I was doing the course so then I started this business when I was 15 turning 16 and I just kept on filming 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 I would go outside to the park and just film the trees and film dogs try get creative with something that's around me that's there isn't much to film just expanding my creativity to try and make something creative or visually pleasing to the eye <laughs> Media is always about telling stories and I admire that. I mean, documentaries, filming is what I want to go into. I want to start telling these stories. But at that age, I was focusing on my practical skills. So getting these shots, getting in the editing suite, editing up, developing on my techniques, how to make this look good, how to edit this certain way, how to create these transitions, you know, technically learn difficult things at a young age. So then when I get older and start telling these stories, I can then use all that and put it into one big project and use it to my advantages. Number two, emails. If you want work, I advise you to just start out with any work, any paid work, any free work, anything that just gets you connecting with people, businesses. What I did was I stopped doing my YouTube and started focusing on a lot of music videos because at this point I knew a lot of music artists so I used that to my advantages um, and that helped me with my technical editing, shooting, storytelling. It opened a whole lot of doors and creative thinking. I hate the fact that the world runs on money now. It's quite depressing. I want to just kind of forget about that and focus on freedom and focus on telling a story not just through my vision and trying to help a lot of other people out as well and that's what i want to do with this youtube channel i don't want to i don't want it to just be a normal youtube channel i want it to change lives or move people where's my fourth adjustment i don't think i have one huh? yes i do actually don't think equipment is everything right now there's phones that shoot 4K. 4K you can also crop in so you can use that to manipulate it to look like it's a different shot or a different lens if you feel like you haven't got the equipment 
it doesn't matter. I'd say just don't worry about equipment, don't worry about the story if you're starting out and just, just go out and just learn these technical difficulty things. Um, and once you've got that mastered or to a certain degree where you feel like, right, I can start telling stories now to progress, go ahead and do that. And that's my introduction. Okay. So that's my introduction video. Um, I'm not normally used to this, so please like and subscribe. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited on this new journey. I'm always about developing, challenging myself really, and I advise you guys to do that. Challenge yourself, get out there, get in the field. Just don't worry about what people think, what people say, what equipment you have. But for now, my name's Thomas Gelder. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more.